Dylan Tate had a really weird 2023. An odd forearm elbow injury that popped up before spring training was set to keep the reliever out for the month of April. Then it turned into more, and it turned into the entire season. But luckily for the Orioles, the bullpen stepped up in a big way. Felix Bautista and Cianal Perez built on their strong 2022 seasons, with Bautista, of course, becoming one of the best relievers in baseball. Newcomers Danny Coulomb and Yenier Cano were instrumental, with Cano making the all-star team. Guys like Mike Bauman, Jacob Webb, and D.L. Hall provided big boosts too. Of course, you missed Dylan Tate, especially down the stretch, but Baltimore still boasted one of the best bullpens in the game in 2023. Entering 2024, the O's relief group had more questions than answers. The Mountain, out for the year. D.L. Hall, in a new uniform. And Tyler Wells, potentially into the rotation. Signing potential Hall of Famer Craig Kimbrell certainly helps. He's in Baltimore to shirt up the ninth inning. But another huge addition to the Orioles' bullpen isn't a signing, and it's not a trade. It's the return of their right-on-right specialist, Dylan Tate. Yeah, ready to go for camp, and uh, just excited to be back out there. Exactly what you just said. It was a whirlwind, to say the least, but I'm through it now at this point, and uh, I'm just trying to look forward. And we're a year removed from seeing Tate on a big league mound, but he's one of the few relievers in this bullpen with a multi-year track record. Last three healthy seasons, 141 games, a 365 ERA, and a whip just over 1,000. That's highlighted by 2022, the last time we saw him, where the righty posted an ERA just over three with a 0.991 whip. He was in the 97th percentile in both his fastball run value and his ground ball rate, which was at nearly 60%. And with a healthy offseason, there's no reason to expect anything different. Uh, fortunately, this offseason wasn't really that different. I got cleared by a doctor out in Texas and um, I was good to go from that point on. So that happened around September, and the off season's actually been pretty normal since then. Just saw just saw Tate uh, a couple days ago in Sarasota. Looks unbelievable. Feels great. So that's uh, you know you never know a little bit of got off a guy coming off injury, but um, we're hoping for the best there because he he was a go-to guy for us a couple years ago and really established himself as. A right, right on right, especially late inning bullpen guy, and we missed him last year. You heard manager Brandon Hyde mention the right on right specialty. Skipper wasn't kidding. In Tate's career, right handed batters are hitting just 213 with a 274 on base percentage. It's good for a 587 OPS. And with Tate's pitch arsenal, it's easy to see why. His sinker is one of the best in the game. In 2022, it literally was the best sinker in the game, according to StatCast, with a run value of 21. It was tied for the eighth best pitch in all of baseball based on that metric, tied with, now teammate, Corbin Burns' world-famous cutter. That sinker, which the righty throws over half the time, runs in on right-handed hitters, gets in on the hands, and they don't have a prayer. Then the slider and devastating changeup can put them away, Good grief. Hence that 213 batting average I mentioned before. Now, Tate might not close games. He allows his highest OPS against in the ninth inning, but he's a great setup man, elite against those right-handed batters, and works right into the mix with Cano, Kutlum, and Perez. And Tate, who's been with the organization through ups and downs, is excited to get back and help the Orioles compete. We're obviously doing what we need to do as a, as a club, and we're showing people that we mean business. and. I'm ready to go out there and do what I need to do to help us win more than 101 games and into the next piece of the season. We can compete with anybody, and I think we've shown that over the past few years. The, the track record has continued to go up, so I wouldn't see uh, any reason for it to not continue to keep trending the way that it is. We're a competitive club, and we're ready to win.